Hello fellers, this here is Ecuador, this is in the late 90s, and this is the last series of the country of Ecuador. And uh, the reason why it's in the last series is because inflation started to hit, as lots of their neighbors did, and Ecuador is looking at its neighbors, looking at all the uh, disastrous currencies going on around them, and deciding, you know what? instead of printing more money with higher denominations um... we're just going to move to something else <laughs> and i think they they uh... they took that decision to heart because um... you know inflation uh... inflation was literally destroying its neighbors and uh, now they're on the american dollar so so there's that so this is um... literally the last series of Ecuador and uh, I think in 95 I think this one was about five bucks something like that not really sure <coughs> it's been a while but um, here you have the crest you have um, Juan uh, Montalvo okay I you pronounce that correctly a sea turtle, of course, uh, Ecuador owns the Galapagos Islands. It's their territory, so they got, like, Galapagos stuff on the back of this one, which is pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Um, you got the uh, Diaz Mill here, 10,000 sucres. And uh, this is uh, Vicente Rocafuerte, which kind of sounds French, doesn't it? On the back, you have, uh, uh, gosh, what is that? That's in Quito. Monumento la Independencia. Okay, that's an independence monument. That's what that is. Okay. It took me a minute. I don't have my reading glasses on, so if there's small print, I have to, like, lean forward. And you can't really tell I'm leaning forward in the camera because I'm showing you the bills and not me. Although you can see my fingers. Yay. Anywho. Um, <laughs> this is Bente Mill. Uh, I don't know if I can show you the watermark or not. I don't know if I can even see it. Oh, it's just the, the, the same guy looking in the other direction on the watermark. It's a um, very pretty bill. You got uh, kind of mandala actions going on, lots of different colors going on. That's a good looking banknote right there. Twenty thousand. I want to say this is pr this was probably twenty bucks, maybe. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not sure. Back when it was um, in circulation, it's not. This money isn't in circulation anymore. You can't you can't even trade it for anything. So, um, so there's that. But it's got security features on it and everything. It's pretty neat. And this one here, a cinquenta mil, is uh, fifty thousand. Cinquenta mil is thousand. And uh, you can see, um, you know, there's a there, there's a couple. Uh, security features in that too. Who is this guy? This is Eloy Alferio. Very important Ecuadorian feller. I like the uh, I like the colors in it. It's kind of it's very elegant looking, isn't it? It's very uh very fancy. Almost looks old school, but it's really not that old. And uh oh, let me look at the watermark real quick. I think it's just the same guy looking in the other direction. Um, on the back you have the National Crest. And on the back it's kind of lighter shading. I think they're really uh, they're really pretty notes. And I'm glad I was able to get them. I haven't done, I don't think, the, uh, the full Ecuador series yet. So I wanted, to, I wanted to get these. This is one of the few countries that I've actually been to. And uh, it's... Um, it's pretty, uh, pretty nice looking notes. Lots of colors in it. Lots, lots going on, you know. Um, but anyway, if you have, uh, and I say this all the time, and I mean it, wisdom or insight on uh, banknotes from Ecuador, please feel free to let me know in the comment section below. Um, having some uh, 
extra tidbits of knowledge is pretty cool, and I do appreciate you fellers for uh, for coming up with some uh, neat stuff every now and then to tell me about. So, anyway, thanks for watching. You have a wonderful day, and I'm out.